Top 5 Underused But Awesome Races in D&D Leonin And you thought being called a pussy was a bad thing. Leonin are really good. You start off with a plus 2 to con and a plus 1 to strength. Does that sound familiar? Because it should, that is the Grey Dwarf stat increases, and they are proven to be good. Plus 35 movement speed from day one is always good. Every class would take this if they could. It is only upside to be able to move more. Third upside, dark vision, obviously. You also get claws, which means you use a D4 plus your strength modifier for unarmed strikes and deal slashing damage, not bludgeoning damage, which means you're never really unarmed. If you lose your weapons because you get sent to jail or something, you've always got something in the bag and it is your claws. Then we get to Daunting Roar, which you can do as a bonus action to make every creature within 10 foot of you of your choice be frightened of you if they lose a wisdom saving throw. Which means you can just stand there and kill them one by one while they miss every attack. And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Leonin make great fighters, great barbarians, and great paladins. And you thought being called a pussy was- wait, I did that joke already. <laughs> turtles! I like turtles. Why play a turtle, you ask? Oh, you sweet little innocent piece of garbage. I'll tell you why. Turtles have a plus two in strength. Awesome. And a plus one in wisdom. Awesome especially for barbarians and fighters and anyone who wants to avoid those nasty wisdom saving throws against being frightened or charmed, which are really bad for fighters and barbarians because they take you out of the action. But let's talk about the shell. You get a set AC of 17 from level one, which is busted. It's free half plate, basically, and it means you can kind of dump dexterity to bump those stats into wherever you want to put them, be they more strength or higher con, or even padding out your wisdom even more. Also, you can retreat into your shell for a plus 4 to AC as an action, which I think makes Tortles the highest AC level 1 build. Assuming you're carrying a shield, and you get the plus 4 for retreating into your shell, and you've got natural AC of 17, and then you cast shield as a reaction, and a theoretical plus 5 for being in 3 quarters cover, and you could have an AC of 33 at level 1. That means an adult silver dragon has to crit just to do damage to you. And speaking of dragons, you don't need to be one to take a legendary action. You can do it yourself by smashing that like button and hitting subscribe. Plug, plug. Turtles make great clerics, fighters, druids, barbarians, and rangers. As a little extra bonus, you also get unarmed strikes just like the Leonin, where you use your claws, not your fists. There's only one problem with them, and that's that they die age 50? Wizards? Hello? I'm pretty sure turtles live to like 300. What's it? Learn your animals. Loxodon. All right, enough of these baby animals. Let's talk about the Loxodon. You are an elephant. Statistically, the best mammal to be. You get a plus two to con and a plus one to wisdom. Both great stats to bump. Whether you are playing a barbarian who appreciates the boost in their saving throws or a druid who appreciates the boost in their longevity, these are great stats to have a boost in. You also get advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened, which are two of the worst conditions for frontline fighters. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. You also get natural armor, which is nice, especially for druids who don't tend to do well with metal armor. And finally, you get the trunk. Can we talk about the trunk? It gives you unarmed strikes, it can lift stuff, it can be used as a freaking snorkel, and it's free. You just get it for being an elephant. Amazing. Loxodon make great druids, barbarians, fighters, clerics, and monks. If you go in front of these classes, you might say the Loxodon is a slam trunk. Subscribe. <laughs> Eladrin Elves. But D&D shorts, everyone plays elves. They're not underappreciated. Oh my God, shut up. Okay, I'm not talking about elves. I'm talking about Eladrin elves, right? Everyone plays high elves because dank or wood elves because they want to hide in falling leaves. But Eladrin elves, you never see them. Why? I don't know, they're f***ing great. Eladrin are basically the role play heavy D&D player's wet dream. You basically get a new character every time the seasons change because each season gives you different characteristics and even different abilities, and you can change season as often as you'd like. It's not specifically tied to winter, summer, autumn, and spring. Their main gimmick is Face Step, which lets you teleport 30 feet away, and depending on what season you're in, you get a different bonus effect to add on, like charming someone, frightening someone, or setting someone on fire. 
A bonus to Charisma is always nice, and like all elves, you get a plus two in Dex, which means you make a great Bard, a great Sorcerer, a great Warlock, a great Paladin, and a great Ranger. Triton. As Jesus once said, life is much better down where it's wetter under the sea. Okay, so Tritons get plus one in Constitution, Strength, and Charisma, which are so goddamn perfect for Paladins, it literally hurts my soul. You can enter at level 1 with the point by system with a 16 in the 3 stats paladins care about most, which is insane. Dark vision is always good, you get some innate spellcasting which is really cool, and you get to communicate with any creature that breathes underwater, which is a really nice, versatile ability. Obviously, if you're playing a campaign that happens even slightly near water or underwater, you're going to be a hell of a lot stronger as well. Having a swimming speed is actually pretty legit. Life is much better down where it's wetter. Dude, you already did this joke. It didn't work the first time. Just leave it, okay? And you did already do the joke about already having done a joke already, so... Oh, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a fraud. I was bald the whole time. <laughs> As well as Paladins, Tritons also make great Warlocks with the boost to Charisma and Con, and they also make decent Fighters, Barbarians, and Sorcerers too. And there you have it! If you liked the video, hit the fake subscribe button that has the word subscribe written on it, and then hit the real subscribe button, which appears right afterwards that looks like a little bell. Hit the like button, leave a comment with what you want me to do, and thanks for the 480 subs. See you later.